Good afternoon. I'm Brian David. I'm the uh, program director for uh, Go Virginia Region 3. I'm also with the Weldon Cooper Center for Public Service at the University of Virginia. Kind of wear a couple hats. Uh, today, I've got the uh, pleasure of, of talking with Lauren Mathena and Rebecca Stimson uh, with the SOVA Innovation Hub. And we're going to talk to them and learn all kinds of things about the, the Innovation Hub. Uh, uh, and with that, I'd, I'd ask each one of you all to introduce uh, yourself, Lauren. If you sure. Hi, my name is Lauren Mathena and I work with Mid-Atlantic Broadband. I've been there about three years now as the Director of Economic Development and Community Engagement. And so in my role, I'm responsible for representing both NBC and the SOVA Innovation Hub to our external, regional and state stakeholders and get to work on a lot of cool projects. Cool, cool. Uh, Rebecca? And I'm Rebecca Stimson. I'm the community manager at the SOVA Innovation Hub. I work with Lauren at Mid-Atlantic Broadband. I um, mean, my job is to facilitate everything that goes on at the SOVA Innovation Hub. I'm here every day. Um, if you can see Lauren's background, I'm actually sitting in one of those phone booths that you can see back there. So that's where I am right now. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, that and, and that's got the carpet on the walls and yes. yep. kind of keeps the thing. So, uh, well, good. Well, uh, you know, in order to kind of move things along, I did give you all some questions ahead of time. I'm going to try to stick to the script, no surprises, but we'll see where things go. But I, I want you all just to share with me, you know, what what is the SOVA Innovation Hub? You know, what is it? Who's there? How did it get there? And what on earth is a co-working space? Uh, maybe you can answer that question for, for me, but go ahead and, and ha have at it. Tell us about the SOVA Innovation Hub. So the SOVA Innovation Hub is a couple different things. Um, first and foremost, it is a 501c3 that was created by Mid-Atlantic Broadband in partnership with Microsoft and their TechSpark program. And our mission is to spark economic transformation in Southern Virginia by inspiring people to pursue digital skills and entrepreneurship. And Go Virginia Region 3 was part of what got us started. Um, back in 2018, 2019, we worked on an enhanced capacity building grant that really helped us to define our concept and hone in on what our program areas were going to be. Um, so secondly, we're a physical facility. Um, so we have a 15,000 square foot building in downtown South Boston. It was the first new build in about 40 years. And NBC's headquarters moved from its prior location in Halifax County into the second floor of that building, making us the anchor tenant. And then on the first floor, we have a training space, a Microsoft Experience Center, and a co-working space, which Rebecca will tell you more about. Yes, and that's a great question, Brian. What exactly is co-working? Um, co-working is a workspace model where people can come in to the same space and work collaboratively or independently um, in that same space. So at the SOVA Innovation Hub, we have a couple of different memberships for all types of people, everything from a daily pass to private offices that you can rent by the month or longer. Um, the great thing about co-working is that it gives you access to a lot of the amenities that would be very expensive to have if you're working from home or if you're starting up your own office space. So we have like very fast um, Wi-Fi, we have wired internet, we have a print copy scan station available for our members, um, we have a cafe with free water, coffee and drinks, um, and we also have a few different meeting rooms that our co-working members can use as well as the community. So we have two different spots. Um, the Spark meeting room is our small five person meeting room. And then we have a large training space that fits 25 to 30 people with tables. And they um, both of the spaces have screens that you can project onto. So again, those are available for our co-working members to use as part of their membership and also for the community to come in. If they're hosting an event or a meeting, they can come and rent the spaces within the SOVA Innovation Hub. Um, so co-working is just a really great model uh, to allow a lot of people to come into the same space and work together and have access to all of these great amenities. So taking taking on that theme, I guess with the with the cafe, got to bring your own snacks, right? So uh, we do have yeah. some snacks available. Yeah, okay, okay, members. cool, cool. <laughs> it's all about the snacks, but 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 part of the co-working concept is collaboration, right? And so tell tell me a little bit about how you envision the space to, you know, if I come in there and I rent a desk or I, I've, I come in for the day, 
tell me what does that mean for me to, to use a space like this? Yeah, so it can uh, be whatever you would like it to be. If you want to just come in and work quietly on your own, um, we have that option. So you can, you know, close your door to the office if you're renting one of the offices and hold your meeting, like talk on the phone, all that good stuff, and just be in your private office. But we do envision it as a space where you can collaborate um, with others. So we have a we're hoping that we attract a variety of people here at the co-working space. So if someone has like a problem or a question, um, they need marketing or IT, they'll be able to go and find a co-working member um, that can maybe help them improve their business or help them with their problems. So that is the great part of it is there is an option for collaboration if that's what you're looking for. So maybe a, another way of, of saying collaboration is connection, that you're connecting with others that are trying to, I guess, entrepreneurs. Uh, I know entrepreneurship's a big piece of this, right? Tell, tell me about that. Sure. Um, so, you know, big picture, we are taking this overall approach of new economic development and entrepreneurship is part of that traditional economic development. Um, but uh, entrepreneurship, we feel like, is really a great path forward to increasing wealth for all different types of people. Um, so I'll back up a little bit and say we are using a platform called Startup Space, and that's really our digital ecosystem. And so whether or not you come and use our physical co-working space, you can still join our online community. And so that's one way that you can connect into the ecosystem. Um, and then through our programs, we'll be at there'll be various different avenues for folks to get involved, um, to get new skills, both in the digital technology areas, as well as entrepreneurship. So I guess take, taking that um, kind of in, in, it's not only connecting with other folks that are doing, working for themselves or taking try to ideas to market, but there'll be an ability to connect with folks that can help support that. Through. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, one of the one of the first modules that we deployed of Startup Space um, was the resource compass. And so you can right now go to sovainnovationhub.com, click on programs and then entrepreneurship, and then you'll find the resource compass that we put together um, as part of actually the Go Virginia Region 3 Entrepreneurship and Innovation Strategy Development that we did from 2019 through 2020 with Longwood. Um, so that resource compass is out there and will be updated on an ongoing basis. And we just, we hope that that will continue to grow and grow. We've also included resources from around the state. Um, so that's one thing that we see that um, if, there, if there could be a bright side to this past year, um, folks are much more comfortable connecting with each other virtually. Mm -hmm. And so um, for our region where we're more rural and you know, we're a few hours from Richmond or Northern Virginia or other kind of entrepreneurship hubs, um, by being able to connect virtually, you, know, you can identify these resources through our resource compass and then reach out to folks by email. You can schedule a Zoom call or a Teams call just like this and have all kinds of access to the statewide resources. So uh, this is a, a, a well uh, a very easy question to answer yes or no, and I already know the answer, but I'm going to ask it. The, the capacity or the capabilities of this physical space is more than just the physical space. There's I, I like to sometimes describe these in hardware software terms, mm -hmm. and so you have the physical space, the building, the you know. The, the snacks and the, and the drinks and, uh, and all of that and all the things that go with it, plus with Microsoft's presence there. Mm -hmm. But then there's software. There's the, the, as you said, the startup space, any number of support that can come to, to innovators and, and, and folks. And, and as I understand it, this is something that you could very well find in Richmond, Northern Virginia, St. Louis, you know, pick, pick, pick a, a NFL city, if I, if I may. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, I mean, this building is definitely, you know, it's state of the art, um, but our programs were, we're also looking at best practices across the country to make sure that the training programs that we put out, um, that all the programs we put out are, you know, ranked just as well and have the same kind of quality that you would find anywhere else. That's super important to us. 
um, through startup space and other networks like Rural Rise and the Startup Champions Network. Um, over the past couple of years, we've been able to connect with ecosystem builders really truly from across the country, both from urban and rural areas, and really just learn and see what other people have done, what they are doing. Um, and you know, we, we've actually been invited, or I guess um, one of our partners actually wants to feature the Sova Innovation Hub at a natural, national conference coming up. Um, so that's just nice to see that um, we think we might be on the right path <laughs> at least. So um, that's all that we can really ask for at this point because it's definitely a journey that we've been on and that will continue to, to grow. Um, I, and I can't, I have to do this because it's Go Virginia Region 3, so the Sova Innovation Hub uh, breaking news when we're recording this. Uh, we have an entrepreneurship strategy that has been uh, developed by uh, Sova Innovation Hub and the Longwood Office of e Community and Economic Development to implement Region 3's e uh, entrepreneurship strategy. Um, t tell us a little bit about that because we're about on the cusp of, in, in a few days having the state formally approve that strategy, the grant project, it, it's, it's a several, you know, 600, $700,000 project over several years. Tell us a little bit about that project and what, what we have to look forward to. Sure. So within the strategy, we identified um, all the different assets and resources within our region and how we can connect to other parts of the state. We also identified gaps and opportunities. And so when we went through the process of getting that strategy approved, um, some of the questions that we heard back from the council and from the innovation committee were, what's the low hanging fruit? Where can you start? And so our team and our partners at Longwood um, said, well, we think the first thing we can do is add some entrepreneurship training into the region. Um, there are a couple programs that are kind of locality specific in certain parts of the region, but much of the region was really underserved in terms of um, really boot camp, how to start a business, um, more than just a one-off work workshop, but really a, a deep dive. Um, and so that is the first thing that we hope to launch um, in partnership with a group called Co-Starters. Um, they're a partner that we met through Startup Champions Network, and we're really eager to launch several cohorts of that in this next year. And that'll be open to all types of businesses, but we will be targeting um, individuals who have ideas for scalable businesses, as well as women and people of color. So we're really excited to get that off the ground. Um, it also has a youth entrepreneurship program, which always gets folks excited. Um, my kind of tagline for that one is, you know, whether or not these students end up becoming entrepreneurs, teaching the entrepreneurial mindset is going to have a great return on investment for their future employer. Um, so they come in with that innovative thinking capabilities. Um, there's also an element where we'll be looking at access to capital. We want to engage our regional lenders and CDFIs um, in the ecosystem work and also include lots of training in our training pipeline so that entrepreneurs are better prepared when they go, whether they're pitching for investments um, privately or whether they're going on the traditional route. Um, that's kind of the three main programmatic elements. Um, but another piece of it is there's actually another innovation hub coming to Region 3, and that will be in Farmville. Um, and so we're really excited to see a brick and mortar location come to the northern end of the region as well. That will be an awesome partnership between Longwood and Hampton, Sydney. And then the final part of our implementation strategy is um, to implement the regional entrepreneurship scorecard so that we can see where we are and how we're doing. And that'll be tracked locality by locality and then grouped by rural and urban areas um, because we do know we have some diversity in economies across this region. But that'll kind of give us a North Star so that we can see how we're moving as we go year to year. Which gets us to close to the end. We want to be mindful of time and, and, and things. I, I really have just a couple more questions for you. This has been very helpful. I think with kind of setting the table about this uh, first in, in 40 year kind of building in, in downtown South Boston. And I imagine people riding by it, not knowing what it is. is what on earth is that? And what is it doing here in South Boston? But uh, I, this is one of my always time favorite questions in this type of, 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 of discussion. So if you could tr time port yourself, transport each one of yourselves to 2030. The Sova Innovation Hub has obviously had some accomplishment, but some things others are yet to be achieved. There are still works and projects. Give me a, each one of you, maybe a couple ideas, uh, or one or two, of what the, what's been accomplished and what has yet to be done or still in progress. 
Um, so I hope that the Region 3 economy is vibrant and diverse. So you know, basically the, the Go Virginia program has been successful um, <laughs> from our digital skills, um, which is a big focus area for us. Um, we can measure that by the t technology job location quotient through the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And so there's something there that we can see that hopefully grows just exponentially. On the entrepreneurship side, we want to be known as a region that supports and invests in entrepreneurship. And there's going to be results from that, from companies that start and grow and are you know, still around. Um, and we want to see an ecosystem that has you know, these, these hubs um, spread across the region, but connectivity among them. So we're not competing, but we're collaborating. Um, and then specifically in South Boston, um, we're actually already planning our second building. So um, we just opened the doors to the first one, but we already have preliminary site plans for the second building. So we're really looking at a campus that will have connectivity to the rest of downtown and all the great assets that are in South Boston. And so um, there's some concepts um, through the Central and Rural Innovation about a rural innovation hub, and it's really about everything that's in a community. Um, and so that's my big vision is, you know, South Boston will be a model for that, for the state, and maybe for the country. Cool, cool. And obviously, all the more than in 10 years. Uh, so this is kind of a, a life's work, uh, it, it sounds. Rebecca, do you have any? I mean, you're you're opening the, you just opened the doors. So can you can you think ten years in advance versus next week? Yes. Well, in ten years, I hope we become exactly what you had touched on, Brian. Just a hub um, for people to come to, a go to location in the region for people to network and connect, um, and also to have people come into the Soviet Innovation Hub, just starting up their business and be able to move on um, to their own larger office spaces and just grow their businesses that way and to be able to help them on their journey um, with the Soviet Innovation Hub, the campus, and then the programs that Lauren has talked about. Good, good. I think one way of, of at least I, I look at entrepreneurship is that you bring in a, in a support supportive way, the skills and, and, and the things needed to be done in order for people to create their own job. And if they can create their own job, they may create other jobs for other people as well. And so that uh, back to the youth piece, that's a life skill that makes them, whether they work for themselves or someone else, a, a, a really engaged member of, of, of a business for sure. So I think we've had uh, a, a good chat here. I think we're kind of down here to, toward the end, but I've got, um, I guess, Rebecca, if they want to learn more about the, the Innovation Hub, obviously online, but uh, give us an idea of how best to find out about it. Uh, yes. So we do have a great online presence um, with our website, so the innovationhub.com. And we also are active on social media, Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, we have a virtual tour. If you're not able to make it uh, in person to the Sova Innovation Hub, then I can send you the virtual tour and you can look at it from the comfort of your home. Um, but we are open. So we have COVID-19 precautions in place to do one-on-one -on -one tours of the co-working space and small group tours as well, less than 10 people. Um, and to sign up for those, you can either email me at hello at sovainnovationhub.com, um, visit the website and go to the contact page um, or go to the co-working page and we have the option. You can just book that in-person tour online. You can see my schedule and click on when you wanna come and visit. Cool, cool. Um, that will wrap it up for me. Lauren, do you have anything else you, you'd like to share or? No, I just wanted to say thank you for giving us the opportunity to talk with you and get the word out about what we're working on. Well, uh, I, I do appreciate y'all's time and, and the information. And as you said, this kind of a continuing series, I've said, of Go Virginia to, to go out and actually get out into to the world of, of what Go Virginia is doing, at least trying to seed uh, you know, plant ideas and provide some resources to, to help those ideas grow. So this is uh, one of the ones that we want to certainly highlight now. I, I promise you I will be back for kind of a retrospective of what uh, lessons learned and accomplishments, uh, things to celebrate over the next year. But I wish you all the best of luck and uh, look, look forward to uh, uh, Go Virginia will have an office there in that building. I look forward to kind of getting back into our normal routine and, and, and enjoying the new office there. So with all that, uh, Lauren Mathena, uh, Rebecca Stimson, I really appreciate y'all's time. And uh, I guess the best thing is, is stay tuned and, 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 and log on, right? Mm -hmm.
Okay. Thank you all.